Alright, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Starkler coming at you with another episode of The Walking Dead. This is Season 3, Episode 3, Above the Law. Shocking developments drive a wedge between brothers in arms. Where we left off, uh, we, were, it, we had like one of the shortest episodes in the entire series. I don't know how long this episode is, um, which is a good thing because then at least I don't know what to expect. But where we left off, uh, we had some beef happen. We had Conrad. Previously on The Walking Dead. Well, let's just let the game explain for us. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. We're going f way no, far yeah, back. Yeah. People's awake. Dun, dun, dun! Solamente está confundido. Mama! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bit right on the face. She's done. Oh, that sucks. Hey! Oh yeah, then there's a guy. We were kind enough to let him go. Then there's Clem. Put your hands up and close your eyes. She looks a little different. I think it's because I don't have the, what's it called, comic black. Oh yeah, Mariana. Thanks. Mari! Back in oh, laggy land. Shit! Kate! Got the guy. Oh. Oh yeah, then we chose to... Javi, don't! We chose to throw it at the bandits instead hey. of ducking. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul. But my friends call me Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Yeah, we met Jesus. He can walk on water. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? I'm sorry, Clem. Oh yeah, we made this uncommon choice. <laughs> Then we negotiated, people. What the hell's going on out here? David. Oh my god. Hi, David. And here we are. Episode 3. That was a long recap, too. I didn't think they would go that far back. But here we are. Right in the middle of the madness. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I have my doubts. I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little. In front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it. And that we didn't have to risk life and limb. Every damn day. For food and water and gas for the stove. Oh, am I babbling? I babble when I'm scared. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Pretty straightforward. We got this. We got this. There it is! Let's take it and go. There's our propane tank. <clears throat> Empty. What? <clears throat> You've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! That's pretty loud. <sighs> Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Hey, keep it down. I know it sucks, Kate, but you gotta watch out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just Aren't we thought all? this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. Oh, 
Oh, what? Oh, jeez. Don't die in flashbacks now. Kate, you're a hammer now! Oh, God. I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. Y you froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Cape worshipped him. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just... one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead... <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. Muertos. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. When it was on you? Oh my god. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? Darn, poor kid. A kid walker, that's very uncommon. That's like extremely rare in The Walking Dead. Usually it's just nothing but adults. Oh, do we have to tell Gabe? Your friend turned into a zombie and I killed him. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? Hmm. We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cape. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. Not enough. Not anymore. But what about Dad? Yeah, where is Dad? Dad. What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. No. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Your friend is dead, kid. Gabe. Honey. What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? We gotta tell him. She said. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. I oh, know, that sucks, dude. His friend. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you? I couldn't bear it. 
When do we have to go? ASAP. Tomorrow. As soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. Something that won't make him sad. We love him. Oh, that'll make Just him sad. Just we love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Give him Thank a special you. note. Really. All these people deserve so much more than just suffering. This wedding photo. You gonna take it with you? Nice hat. Let's see, we had to move somewhere else. I don't know where, but Kate says we're not safe here. No matter what happens, always remember we still love you. Love, Gabe. It's a good message for Dad. I like that. Take them both. Take the teddy bear and the recorder. Come on, don't leave the... Oh, it's a bunny, my bad. You know what, if Banny had a girlfriend, would it be... Would she be, uh... Green? You guys even know who Banny is? Yeah, take the baseball. Take the bat with you. You need a weapon. Take the knives. Or at least finish off the pudding. Put some calories in you. It's cool getting to rewind and see how they do stuff. Because they could have done this easily at the start of episode 1, but instead they're doing it on episode 3. Wow. Maybe one day we'll see you again, house. But until then... We travel. Episode 3, Above the Law. Let's go. I think this is going to be longer than episode 2. For sure, because episode 2 was just kind of some recovery, moving, travel, puzzling. But now, this is where the beef starts. The real good stuff. Let me move my mic closer. Hi, David. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? There's Clem. Hi, Clem. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. Never really thought it'd happen. Not after all this time. I can't fucking believe this. It's... I mean, it's you. Couldn't have said it better myself. Wow, he didn't say holy shit. That's a disappointment. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No! I didn't say that! Our doctor's Max. gonna Max. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. Quarantine? What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. I'm sorry. Our doctor will okay. clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Yeah, right. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hobby. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go. We got Clem too, and Conrad's alive. We've got the whole group and the family together. We've done it. And what's that one girl's name? Eleanor? Where's she at?
I'm surprised they have power. Oh, there she is. Okay. Trap. Oh God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. <laughs> I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Oh, that's cute. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? It's like meeting Kenny. I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. And You're Gabe. kidding. Gabe went with Kate too. is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. David was gone. I had to step up, make sure the family would be okay. It's not like I could just walk away from her, from any of them. No, of course not. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not going to find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. There's only one Even way to if find it wasn't out. his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit can't stand. That's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. That's crazy. Clementine, you were part of the New Frontier. Did you know David? Oh, yeah. I knew him. If I'm being honest, he's not a good guy. Is that right? If you told me he was the one behind Prescott, I wouldn't be surprised. He does have a temper. I've taken the brunt of it a few times. I can imagine. What happened at the gates? The fact that he's your brother? That doesn't change anything. I'm gonna find the man who killed Francine. These people better not get in my way. I'm gonna be asking questions about what went down at Prescott. And I won't stop until I get answers. As soon as I get a moment alone with David, I'll get to the bottom of this. He can tell me what we're up against. He has to. Family's gotta be good for something, right? Hey. David! Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. Lead the way. Gladly. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just... Go.
Uh. Hold on. Oh, I gotta. Uh. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. You can count on me, Trip. Everyone, just hang out. It'll all be okay. They do not like each other. Conrad was right. Just use Clem as a bargaining chip. Get medical help for Kate. He wasn't wrong. The dude was right. Y'all must really hate me for making that choice. Even though the video part two isn't even on YouTube yet. But I, I work ahead. I record ahead of time. Family must be good for something. Nice, Javi. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. Of course not. We're happy to be here. It's... good to see you alive, brother. Same here. Come on. There's the flag. They took over the Where whole are we place. Going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. Ah, uh, that's his daughter, bro. That hurts. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She, she was, was so happy. little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... Must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it oh, happened. Oh, we have to tell her. Him, my bad. Oh, wait, Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. Someone from what the new frontier. would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Hell yeah. Say something, Max. Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. They ambushed us in a junkyard. Just unloaded on us. They chased us back to this town, Prescott. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Badger. What the fuck have you done now? Badger's his name. I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor. Keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. So we got David... And then we have three more. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. You wouldn't let that happen, would you? We only just got here. It's not just up to me. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. They have umbrellas and other cool stuff. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? No shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? 
Baseball. Welcome to civilization. Or at least the closest thing to it these days. Uh, baseball's long gone. Just regular old survivor brother now. <laughs> From what I hear, there's nothing regular about you. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. Oh, I saw that. That Salute. woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you. For three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Oh yeah, oh, the Mama. bite. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. Happy times. There you happy, Drake. This is where they're treating Kate. I said happy times get instead of happy days. I'm not staying long. What does that say? Something medical. Something medical. Such dark times, but at the same time, there's these little sparks of hope popping up. Fireworks. She's all patched up. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat. Turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> get off hey, me! Up, huh? I was gonna say the same about you. It's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. You're a lucky man, David. We're all lucky. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you alone. What? What is I'm it? Scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Let's just get you better, Kate. And the facilities here. I don't care about facilities. We did fine without them before. You didn't have a ruptured spleen before. These people nearly killed me, Javi. David's people. Have you forgotten, Mari? Of course not. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. It's going to get bad if we stay. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Oh yeah, Whatever. the marriage. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? 
David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Delirious. Doesn't seem normal. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can't just cherry pick who you want. Why don't you let them all out? Can they all perform surgery on a dirt floor with a pair of pliers and no anesthetic? Oh, There's damn. Javi and I have That's to go That's a meet good one. Here. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. Maybe I can do that. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, Keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Bye, Kate. We're doing pretty good. We're already 32 minutes in. Again, I don't know how long this episode is, but... It's a... It, all that matters is the quality, right? Quality over quantity. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. How do Clint you... runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. Oh, wow. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Oh, geez. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good. I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Fair Is that enough. enough? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so... Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. I ask my older brother. You're gonna uh -huh. fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. The initiation. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? 
It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Oh, it's Max and... What are you doing here? Oh, I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Beef. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Uh... Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? It was true, but then... Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. My apologies. That... that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. We had real problems with her in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? The music, dude. This part, I don't know why they make this an option. Like, why would you not say anything? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl. My niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. Cut off her damn finger first. Max! Oh my goodness. I tried to stop him, I swear. He was out of control. Just David, get rid of we Badger. We warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. This is BS, dude. We didn't do nothing. What do you want? I should just kill everyone Look, in the room. we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. This is ridiculous. You have to do something. I, I can't right now. But maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive, okay? 
There's so much that went down and so much to explain and talk about. And we're the ones getting kicked out? Like, man, I disagree. This is BS. How could they do this to us? Oh, it's Jesus. Man, Jesus was oh, what like... what the fuck? We didn't do anything. He like wasn't a I part of this at all. I might do something here in a minute. What about Eleanor? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. Come on, Ava. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. <laughs> that punch, dude. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. No, don't do this to us. So that's it. There's... Oh, I was about to say four, but there's five. There's Trip. Okay, fine. Screw you two, man. Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Look, we're not dead. That's something, okay? I guess they could have killed us. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. Oh, okay. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? Because... David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Alright, so we are... We're right here. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. It looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Hmm. North is upward, so is it this one? There. The end of the Little Dipper. No. That's the Big Dipper. Oh, well, I suck. Okay. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Deal with it. I have a baseball bat. Take it. Please. Take it. Call it an apology. That man back there in the tunnel, that wasn't me. Take the gun. Conrad, Conrad, don't let the past get in the way of common sense. Give him the gun, Javi. I can find something along the way. Always have. I don't like it. Let the man decide. The gun is yours, Conrad. I can handle myself. I have a baseball bat. It's okay. Nobody fires a single shot unless you are deep fucking fried. You hear me? We don't want to attract whatever the hell's out there. Oh, what? We're not even going to take the bag with us? Not going to put any ammunition, food. Did I just say ammunition? I play too much Grand Theft Auto. 
Take the duffel bag with you. What are you doing? Take the bag with you. I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were, you know. Boyfriend, girlfriend, all the way. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard. And, uh, I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know. But what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harm's in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> just when you think you got everything figured out, boom. Heart goes ass over tea kettle. No, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. <laughs> but nothing now. I respect her wishes. <gasps> she turned him down? I really do. That's sad. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. But we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Walkers! Get ready. They're near. I'm ready. Let's hit them with some baseball bats. Let's do it. Okay. Book of eye, people. I got it. Oh, nice throw. I think a baseball bat is like... Honestly, like, besides a samurai sword, I think a baseball bat is, like, the best object, best weapon to use. It just... Oh, let's go. It's just... Come on, man, move your ass! It's something meant for swinging. It's supposed to hit things hard. It's heavy. You want a piece of this? Jeez. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, now the other one's getting up. What is happening? Oh, Clem. careful with this we're even now are we what did I save her before this is a bad idea we're following David's map right into a herd for all we know he's trying to get rid of us come on Clem He's my brother. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. This brand is a lie. It's a lie that says you can trust us. You belong. 
They don't care about their people. They promised they'd help him. But they were gonna let him die. Flashback time. I hate to say this, but I feel really hungry right now. I don't know what it is. I like the funky dude with the glasses. Make him drink it. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin... That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. It's too valuable to throw away. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. Okay. Alright. I'm sorry, Goofball. He's right. This will only make things worse. You shouldn't be over here. What is that in your hand? What are you doing? Please tell me this isn't what it looks like. You know these supplies are off limits. Don't worry about it. I'm already putting them back. Oh, Clem. How could you? I said I'm putting them back. Yeah, right. She's a goddamn thief. Oh, look, it's the hipster. Oh, no. What's going on here? We caught her trying to take those drugs. What the hell, Clem? I changed my mind. We already did everything we could for that boy. How could you betray our trust like this? After everything we've done for you? You say that, but if AJ dies, it's on me. I'm the one who's left alone. Not you. So that gives you the right to ransack our fucking stores? Easy, David. You were told those drugs wouldn't help. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. 
You've made that pretty damn obvious. You can't kick us out. AJ's sick, weak. We'll get torn apart out there. Should have thought about that before. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. You're cruel. You don't even want to take care of him. Clem, he's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. No! <laughs> you monsters! Bye, AJ. What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. What if they made her cut off her arm or something like, yeah. Let her say goodbye. Now you're truly not one of them. You owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. Please don't make me regret this. Spit in this face. There's always the bad things that happen. I love you, Goofball. I love you. Come on, Clem. Clem. Oh, and he spoke. <laughs> Don't cry. Well, oh, whatever. Yeah, we'll see him in season four. Look, Leggy Land I returns. AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. <gasps> we can hug. David was heartless. No, he's not. We'll get him back. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. <sighs> it's a suicide squad. Oh, jeez. If too many of them push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. All right, let's find a way in. We can do this. A garage door. Might be able to get in that way. It could be full of walkers. Only one way to know for sure. Whoa, man! This thing ain't as strong as we thought! Hurry it up! All right, all right. <laughs> I'm pressing it. Here they come. I can... Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Alright, no problem. Uh, let's, let's listen to the door. I don't hear anything in there. Good enough for me. <laughs> Pick up the pace, hobby! Locked. Look for another way in! It's our only chance! Ah, fuck! It's only making it heavier! Alright, let's 
let's look at the car. Well, there's a car. No wheels. Oh, okay. God damn it. Wait, what's What is that? A pole? That's useless. What am I going to use that for? How did it end up in there? It's not holding! Get that door open! That's it! Won't go any higher! Everyone get in! I forgot to check the dumpster, but that's okay. There's probably nothing in there anyways. I, it would have been cool to see all the options and see if time would have run out or not, but, you know, that's fine. There, we gave Conrad the gun. Come on, Trip! Close the door! Hurry! Get that goddamn Jack out of there! Too close. You can say that again. Wow. Good job, team. Hey, I'm here. David. David. Oh, David's Don't coming you to dare rescue let us. That fucking baby killer in. <gasps> Don't make me do this. Clem. Don't do it, Javi. Open up! He'll die. He deserves worse. He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck? Open. <laughs> Hello again, Clementine. How did you get caught up in all this? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty rancid stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. What? Oh, of course, yeah. He's alive. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I don't know, Clem. I don't think he'd lie about this. You don't know him like I do. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. 
Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. <laughs> Shit! Board it up. That we was a good move. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. Jesus there. knows, dude. Help me! Wait, what? Oh, okay. It doesn't it doesn't even say hold W. There you go. Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. Prescott what Airfield. What the hell is all this? They've this been here. In handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Whoever did this, they have to be stopped. Damn right they do. Soon as we find out who. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take cover. I hear him. What if I didn't move? Would they shoot me? I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. Take it. Oh, David. there goes his gun. I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, Badger. Come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for. Stop him. He's getting away. Go! Get Badger! Oh wow, he just runs. Come on, Badger! Oh no, 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 no. Shooting people is not permitted on this premises. That is a new law. Permitted by Javier Incorporated. Don't let go of the gun. What is that, a wrench? Oh, I can't do it again? Oh, okay. Come on, pick it up. No, not you. I'd have known you were David's brother. 
I'd have shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. No, no. That's my baseball bat. Oh, jeez. You got gut shotted. Oh, Garcia. Oh. You, you, you took my goddamn guts out. Um, um, fuck. Oh, you messed me up good. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <laughs> Not anymore. Fuck her, and fuck you too. Easy, Conrad. He's already down. Remember my woman? Francine? You! You snuffed her out like she was nothing. <coughs> she was... nothing. He cut off her... F He's or no. finished. Get it over with. They cut off her finger and shot her, dude. What are you waiting for? Oh, you want some? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. You know, there's a fourth option. If you do nothing, then Trip will just kill him. Conrad? What? Ain't got the guts to kill another man. No. You're not a man. You're nothing. And it's over. And there's another gunshot. He's all yours. Stop. Please. Raiding, looting, you betrayed who we are. You betrayed Richmond. Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say. There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. Joan. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. Still knocked out. I needed that. Oh, now it's daytime. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? Won't be hurting anyone else. They My people him. need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm not holding that much hope. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You're a good guy, Jesus. That's rare. I could say the same about you. I won't forget about you. 
You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. All the way. Of course, David. You're my brother. I never forgot that. Even if you did. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. You and I... We should talk. When this is done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. Then there's Max just chilling. Then they're just kind of half stuck in there, all the walkers. Let them rot. Rot away down to nothing. That's cool, taking the sewers. I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Then I'm coming with you. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. You can use Max as a bargaining chip. Like, just let him sneak around. I mean, they expect him here, right? I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Yeah, I'll take the vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Oh, what do we press forward? Okay. It shows the cursor. Okay. Did you see that barrel back there? It said red on it. Red barrels. Aren't they the creators of Outlast? You know Javi Garcia? Oh, jeez. Okay. shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. Gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, man. we get out. Right. Not that easy, man. We've seen the make case before, and they ain't afraid to use them. Alright. Let's have 
hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Still awesome. So we could do the throw out the window. The transformer. Let's do the transformer. What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. You couldn't have just taken out a window. Hit the trick, didn't it? Hopefully they don't see us. That was pretty cool. Because now they got the fire crew coming down. Even better. There's Kate. You guys find out. Tell her we're moving Kate. Sounds good. We'll meet you here. Javi! Hi. Hi, Gabe. We thought you were... I was... super worried. Like, a lot. Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. We're fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi, where is he? Your dad's taking care of a few loose ends. And right now, he needs me to take care of you. Oh, okay. David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. Yeah, I'd She sure. ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? W what do you mean? I hear you, Kate, but we can't just let her get away with it. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? W what about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. Hmm. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. <laughs> Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. <sighs> what? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. I'm sorry. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, buddy. I respect that. <sighs> Thank you. Gabe. No. Kate. No. Please, Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom. Until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you. 
Don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Okay, fine. Kate, fine, whatever. On. We have to respect his decision. I can't. Look at me, Gabe. Please. Come on, Gabe. Quit being stubborn. Bad boy. Don't reward bad behavior. Remember that. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. You can't take it personally. Gabe just misses his dad. I get that. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Easy now. We were just on our way out. That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Oh, my stomach's growling. Oh, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Gamer Kate, moment. Run! I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Leave? I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? Richmond's not safe. It's no place for an injured woman and a boy. So you were just gonna leave me to it, huh? No. Girl, Where are they away. now? No sign. We'll deal with buggy. this later. That was really you buggy. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. Neither do this you. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. It's over, Joan. You can stop your posturing. Posturing? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Really? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Come on, Max. We made Me, a deal. Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? He's a doctor, though, too. Do you think our community would survive? 
I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. But someone had to do it. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? Ugh, we could have just left him we alone. We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. They see the red barrel? It's, it's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them. What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me. That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. This is ridiculous. You put yourself before the group. We can leave. Please, just let us. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why do we always get knocked out? Like, why can't you just say, put your hands behind your back? Is it really that hard? Well, anyways, this was a good episode. Alright, oh yeah, the decisions. Uh, did you honor your brother's request? You and 65.7% of players demanded justice for Mariana's murder. Yeah, we just... We didn't really follow David's plan. Did you try to save AJ? You and 15.1% of players didn't risk using the medicine. Yeah, you know, you don't want to have bad relationships. At the same time, it's cool that you get to play Clementine for a short time, so that's cool. Uh, how did Badger die? You and 5.3% of players let someone else kill Badger. In this case, it was Conrad. Uh, let's see, 5.4% of players killed Badger quickly. 66.7% uh, of players destroyed his skull. Um, and 22.6% of players let Badger turn. And then... Yeah, that 5.3% is either Conrad or Trip, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what was Max's fate? Uh, you and 56.5% of players brought Max back with you. That is very interesting. If you don't take Max with you, then not only does Max's life go to waste, but I think there's like a huge meltdown that goes down in that final room. And you don't have Max to back him up, so everyone just accuses... I think they, they all accuse David of the raids, and it just doesn't end well, so... Yeah. Uh, I think this is the last one. Who did you side with in the end? You and 46.7% of players chose to leave with Kate. And of course, that didn't end well. So those are our choices. Definitely rocked off, popped off, rocked on the, the votes the percentages like these two right here were very low but that's just what I chose to do there's a lot of characters that could actually be dead right now but they're actually all alive and it's just they all kind of contribute to the story so that's cool anyways I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this this has been season 3 episode 3 of The Walking Dead it was a good one and I will see you guys in episode 4. 
as soon as the screen finishes loading, I will end off this episode. Dot 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 dot. There we go. Episode 4 is thicker than water. That'll be a lot of fun. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace out.